Hi Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you like and subscribe. I made it to 175 subscribers today, so I'm celebrating Capricorn. Um, this is for Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Capricorn in your chart. If it doesn't resonate, Capricorn, you should check out the other signs in your chart. Um, I had a pre, I have a pre-message of someone feeling like they're cleaning up a mess or someone else's mess or they feel like they've been cleaning up someone else's mess. This could be literally someone's mess. Like, you could be cleaning out your car or someone else's car. Excuse me. I'm even here and like paying to have your car detailed, cleaning up a bit, a mess. And um, you might actually, I even thought like, this might actually be someone who does cleaning for a living and it's like, they could be a um, clean things for a living. Like a housekeeper or a... Um, some sort of maid at a hotel or like a custodial staff. I'm even thinking like someone who like power washes houses, like you're cleaning something to that effect. Or, and you feel like you're cleaning up others messes or like you just have a lot to clean. Maybe it's spring cleaning time for you, Cappy. Um, we're going to start with my index deck, and then we'll keep on keeping on. If my setup on my cards looks a little weird, ooh, I just saw the Three of the Swords. That's because I've moved my bedscape, and I'm hoping to have a whole new uh, permanent setup layout soon. Here we go. How could you say that? <clears throat> BDE. Male or female could have that. Big dominant energy. You can't lie to me. I'm not being honest with myself and the world. Cripes, not another rough, tough reading for you, Capricorn. It was never meant to get serious or go this far. Classy, graceful. Don't even tell me you've gotten these, some of these before, I think. Communication breakdown is at the bottom of the deck. How could you say that? Well, I'm not being honest with myself in the world. That's literally right across from each other. Someone has really good, dominant, big energy. While at the same time, still manages to be classy and graceful. Or that is what this person, someone's attracted to. The complete opposite of like their burly, big, dominant energy. They want something soft, classy, and great, graceful. I think it's interesting. It's like, how could you say that? You can't lie to me. I'm not being honest with myself. It's a lot of, oh, I was going to say a lot of communicating. Let's just put this aside. Capricorn, as always, I love your comments, your feedback. It's appreciated. Your likes, subscribes, telling a friend. If you want um, to email me at tolddoeslovetarot at gmail.com. If you want to talk about a personal reading or just tell me about how the reading resonates. I love those emails as well. <clears throat> All right, Capricorn, let's go.
seven of cups is here the page of wands who was just in i think the taurus reading and the hierophant <clears throat> with the five six seven eight of cups at the bottom here followed by the ace of wands and the uh Ace of Cups is popping out at me. First off, I feel like I'm looking at someone who tries to use sex to fulfill an emotional void. They have tried multiple times and they are constantly looking for something to fill this void. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I'm here and by you too. And they keep going back to like materialistic They keep going for BDE and they, someone keeps getting their heart broken. Someone has had their heart broken more than once by, um, I'm specifically feeling like this is a female who's, who's had her heart broken by, um, good-looking men with this dominant strong energy okay seven of cups page of wands and the hierophant that's this taurus energy i feel like there's something about traveling here that just sounded like a horn on a car to me. I saw the chariot earlier. Someone's vehicle, maybe someone drives for a living. Someone here is looking for like their partner. <clears throat> And instead of following emotionally fulfilling, um, maybe what would be emotionally fill fulfilling people, I just got a wicked big whiff of cigarette smoke and I don't smoke cigarettes. So someone out here is smoking a cigarette listening to this. Like it was like the breath, like someone talking to me and I could smell their cigarette breath. If someone's smoking watching this, please let me know. Um, someone here wants a commitment, a marriage, a family. First and foremost, a partner and a marriage. But they keep choosing the wrong type of people. Now, this is male or female, however this resonates. Someone is looking for their their mister to their missus, or their missus to their mister, or their mister to their mister, or their missus to their missus. Someone's looking for their happily ever after partner. They want a big effing wedding. They want an Evan looking beautiful. But they keep following, like, temptation. Someone really wants what's over here, but they keep turning around and being tempted or led astray by cheaper, easier options, I just heard. It's like this guy who's in reverse is fantasizing about this. He's constantly on a quest for something and he doesn't even freaking realize how he's gone through all these other things that were similar, similar to her in that cup. They've gone through all these things and it wasn't fulfilling on this quest to find like their partner, their Mickey to their mini or their mini to their mini and their Mickey to, you know, whatever I you mean, like Donald Duck and Mickey. 
whoever it is to you. Your Bert to your Ernie. Your, like, your person. Birds of a feather. Someone who would flock together. But they are focusing too much on physical appearance or uh, sexual attraction. There's something here that's too much emphasis or distraction or distractions of something that is not good or beneficial or would get you to where you want to be. I almost get this feeling of like... <clears throat> Like temptation, like you have, someone has like this calling or this desire to like level up and like be like marriage material, but they keep going down like the wrong alleyway. They keep going down the wrong path. They keep talking to the wrong people. Someone is like, someone I feel like enjoys this is going to sound sick, but this has come up in another reading recently, so I'm just going to say it. Someone like enjoys unhealthy relationships. They enjoy a relationship that has drunken fights and then sex. They enjoy a jealous partner and the energy that goes between you, um, the tension. But it's not healthy for some for anybody's mental, emotional well-being. And unfortunately, this person, someone here, just keeps looking for... like the golden ticket and they are on this eternal quest and will continue to waste their life and days searching for the next best thing to fill this void that maybe they use sex as a void but to fill that void but um it's like the path they want is narrow but they keep being led astray by these other things that they know damn well aren't good for them and aren't going to lead them anywhere good. This could be drinking. This could be sex with different partners. This could be um, smoking too much weed. This could be I'm even feeling like instead of like getting on the ball and doing what you need to do and going back to school because you've been saying you want to go back to school you keep falling back to rolling up a blunt and just kicking back the star reversed well <clears throat> i'm looking at fighting And a lot of BDE. A lot of BDE. Someone could be showing off, posting hot pictures of themselves. They're trying to make their partner's head turn. Star is Aquarius energy. Oh, the Empress. This could be the dominant, it could be a dominant, very dominant female here. That's who has the BDE.
I think I'm looking at someone who's also realizing they've constantly been looking outside themselves to fill this void. They've been spending money on material things and events and um, spending money on making memories. And uh, it's someone is either getting to the point or is at the point where it's almost like a light bulb has gone off and they've realized I'm constantly looking for something outside of me to fill what's inside of me. I can fill what's inside of me. And someone starts working on themselves and pulling back their energy and thoughts of all these other um, time wasters, other things that were they were trying to fulfill themselves with. And once this per someone here re recognized, like, if I just love myself, heal myself, go into a little cocoon. Yeah, there was an evolution of someone who took care of themselves. Maybe stopped going out as much, maybe just took a few years to themselves and has evolved into like this beautiful dominant empress butterfly. Because I'm looking at these cards like this and then we got the star who's completely naked. And then we have, what is this, seven? Five, six, yeah, seven of cups. She's got some clothes on. And I was imagining going into a cocoon. And then comes out fully clothed, the empress, an evolution of someone. Could be the mother, a mother, could be... It could just be someone stepping into a divine power, like having the epiphany, aha, light bulb moment of realizing, oh shit, I've been trying to make myself feel better by dating a bunch of people or going out partying every night or going to every event at this place so I have something to do or going shopping all the time when I don't need any of that and it's like they've stripped all that shit from their life disappeared for a hot minute and has come out like this wise leveled up calm king or queen essentially I feel like someone here Capricorn knew what it was like to go without who knew what it was like to be um, <clears throat> really poor like financially like I have nothing to my name I have no I have nothing I'm hearing but my but dreams um, I do still have a feeling of being distracted. Someone's constantly distracted either by the phone, by this best friend, by their mother, by um by the kids, by the the cat is now all over me. Like there's someone's constantly um distracted and isn't paying attention to like what they want to do. This could even be like someone saying like, I want to address the um, tickets I got that I've ignored and instead of just going and taking care of it, it's like they continue to like put it on the back burner. No shit, the emperor is out here now. So the empress, the emperor, and the hierophant are here. Like, hello. This is a 
if you're not already married, legally married, you are like in another realm, husband and wife. <clears throat> Seven of Swords and Nine of Wands. I feel like there's two people here who came with or, or come with a lot of baggage and background issues. And they found solace running into each other's arms to get away from the shit that's happened to them in life. That's part of why this, maybe it was the Empress that had to learn to stop giving to other people. The Emperor is falling on top of the Hierophant. This Emperor here is straight and narrow. It's the Empress right now who is either going through an evolution or has gone through an evolution I just see an emperor like waiting for an empress. King of Pentacles and Three of Swords. Well, that's earth energy, so that could be you, Capricorn. keep feeling like someone soothed their heart with money This is a patient, this masculine, this emperor. Didn't I already say though, like he was like patiently waiting. He's like waiting for the empress. There is a masculine here who I feel like has had to work on his own issues and still has those issues. But he, this is a also a patient um, person who is... I was also thinking allowing another person to heal and work on the things that they've um, gone through. This is actually also coming after I was saying it looked like there were two people running into each other's arms. So maybe together this is showing it was like healing to each and each one of you. The solidarity you felt. I feel like I'm looking at someone lying across someone's lap and you're like petting their head or rubbing their hair. All right, Capricorn. I think it was already there. Let's get like one more for Capricorn to wrap this up. Can you see it wiggling on my arm? What's here that wanted to come out? Gemini energy. This is like a divine, this is so divine, this sounds so cliche to say, but this is such a divinely guided match. You guys are so much alike, you don't even realize it. And you are meant to come together. You are meant to heal I don't want to say you healed each other, but I think you each helped each other heal. And in the process, you were helping heal the other. Does that make sense? One... I just, I have a feeling someone is patiently waiting for their person to work on healing and addressing the things within them that they need to address. Capricorn, if it doesn't resonate, check out the other signs, like I said, and I will catch you next time. Bye.